Okay, this is a core activation sequence. We're going to start with a single leg lift with perfect stability through the spine. So lift left leg. Good. Without allowing the back arch or the neck arch to change, lower back down. Okay, it's a really simple core stabilization exercise that's really difficult to perform well. Good. Switching over into a psoas dead bug. So starting with a couple basic dead bugs. Both knees and arms are up. Good. Opposite arm and leg away from one another. Again, perfect control of posture is the name of the game here. Switching to the opposite side. Good. Now in this position, turn the right foot out. Good. Awesome. Now it's a very small movement through extension, which is going to be hard to control your posture. You lift up that right leg with a slight abduction. There we go. And then up and down. Good. And that's going to activate the psoas muscle group, which is often weak. Okay, so we're moving on to dynamic stability. range of motion. Again, through postural control, the floor axis is an awesome feedback mechanism for the body in terms of its alignment and stability that we're, we were just working on. Excellent. We're going to cross the legs over. So we crisscross over here now. We're going to get into the diagonal sling patterns. The elbows are down on the ground and firm. As the knees drop to the right, the left elbow pulls through the ground to activate the posterior sling through the stretch of the anterior sling. Drop the opposite direction. After a couple reps, you would change the crossover leg. Good. Switch to the opposite side. The exact same pattern. Just change the emphasis of the stretch through the glutes. Next exercise, pull over sit up. Arms are overhead. Legs are strong. Perfect postural control on the bottom. Good. Brings the body up and together. Excellent. Good. You can rotate it at the top if you like. Good. Take it back down. Keep the chest up. Good. Again, stabilize in the bottom position. Bring the arms with the ears initially sometimes. And then you're now working the on the lateral first. sling system through a stable stability. Good. She's going to lift up into a side plank, kneeling side plank, which is a short lever with a clam to activate the glute med muscle on the top leg. So stabilizing through the glute med and that lateral sling, stable through the bottom shoulder, opening up. Good. Cro going into a plank type position, opposite arm and knee. So this is a four-legged plank. Chin in, shoulders down, set the posture first. Excellent. Inhale, look up. Way up, go through full extension, make sure the back glute muscle fires, and then tuck under. So we're going flexion, extension, full range of motion through stability of your two supports, which is going to be your left arm and right knee. Good. You would switch to the opposite side. Same pattern. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck under. Make the connection. Fire the core. 